Let's open. Man, I hate you guys. I hate you. Hate you. Look what you are doing to me. Look what are you doing to me. It's only in sake of content. 97 specs in Infernal Scythe. Let's go. Let's try to replicate what I was doing on his highlights. Oh man. Scythe in mists. We are death itself, guys. Especially with this vanity. Look at this. Ah, it's awesome. Now, look, look, this weapon with this set looks awesome. We are useless. Yeah, but at least we look cool. Okay, it's time to hunt souls, guys. Let's gather some souls. We need jump. Come on, no, no, no. We're gonna be ratted. Come on, man. Get the fuck off. We're gonna be ratted by this frost. You wanna be ratted by this... Oh my god. Hunter, come on. Oh, it's good. Three ticks, three ticks, come on. Don't ratata me, I beg you. You stupid. No, I'm gonna die. I have only 16 millions in my pockets. In my small pockets. I have 16 millions. Easy. Guys, chill how? Man, I knew that this is gonna happen. I thought this uh, battle axe is smarter. I th I saw. Uh, I thought he saw this boy that is coming towards our direction. Call me Ratatakwart. Ratakwart. Ratakwart. Can we have uh, uh, red emotions? Uh, emotes, emotions. <laughs> yeah, and the emotions, why not? Emotes in chat. Easy profit, guys. Man, it's meta. You should all play on this weapon. It's literally the best. <laughs> Double kill. Easy. One versus two.
Wait, 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 wait. I want to make sure that I will not be ratted. I'm good. I'm good, I think. Ooh. Like, I have one million in my pockets. I forgot a bit, but okay. He gonna survive here. Yeah? No, he did die. Okay. I fuck up a bit with my combo. I should use my jump a bit earlier. So World of Warcraft. I couldn't! Oh, yeah, yeah, we are, we are. It was a response. I want. Listen. It was not a response, it was call to action. You said to me, go in. Oh, <gasps> no! Whoop. What do we have? <clears throat> it's not streamer's luck, it's a skill, guys. It's a skill. Like a fire staff, oh man. To be fair, I was not expecting to see so much damage from me. Blue one! Okay, it's a blue one. <laughs> Guys! With all my respect... Oh, goodbye. We're gonna stash. I will not fight him. But this is too expensive. Actually, I changed camera size accidentally, yeah? 1.3 millions from uncommon chests. Guys, like, I don't get how you cannot earn money in this game. You just go kill mobs in every dungeon and you get this type of loot. Like, what else do you need? Tell me, what else do you need? Just farm stupid mobs with cheap setup 4.2 and that's all that's all change on a test server on a Q spell I'm gonna die let me reach enough let me reach up. One mil. Give me your one mil, my friend. Half million. Listen. Quack of fucking hell. Equad, what the fuck? Equad. Uh, uh, guys, sorry, I, I muted him. I, I just muted him. I forgot to uh, leave Discord. gonna escape. I did not block his uh, stun run. But he rotated correctly. Nope. Well. No brat.
Nope. Oh, let's go. It's a uh, regular team. Man, you are 7.2 double bladed. You really think that you need to team up? You wanna fight? Let's do it. You're gonna be a star, my friend. I'm gonna edit on highlights to show the brain capabilities of players that are played in mists. Like, mm, my smart boy, you're the smartest player I have ever seen in this game. So what? Oh, we're gonna fight him. So what? Then Mikulaya. Why am not? I will try, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Wait. Cool downs. I need to restore my health a bit. GG, GG, GG. It was a good one. If I would play it a bit different way, I could actually kill him. But it was nice. Um, 1v1 versus 8.3. It was actually not bad. I'm about to die to, to some tier 4 players. I'm what actually about to die to tier 4 players. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, no. See? Oh no! It's pure RNG when you do such content. Oh god, that's what I get. Frost Tava. Oh no! No, no, is no, super bad. no. and we just stay quiet. But I don't, I don't no, hear no, no. anything. Frost right? Anyway, Frost Tava. Had two kills. I was his second kill. There, guys, they were Smurfs. If you're choosing everybody else would die to that. If I if I died to it, everybody else would. Let's just go with let's go with that. All right. You think you <laughs> you think you're so funny, don't you? It's when you are dying to tier 4, guys. Don't die to tier 4. Don't. Or, or tell people that it never happened. So, if you did not know, next content update was announced and we're gonna watch this video right now. Let's do it. Ugh. The Crustal Raiders update marks the start of a new era for Arbion Online.
We are refocusing the guild seasons. There will now be an update every single season with new content in the Conqueror's Challenge every single season. I think players will enjoy the more frequent updates because there's always something new to explore. The key focus of the Crystal Raiders update is to breathe fresh wind into the Guild Warfare gameplay with the introduction of territory raiding, a reworked Conqueror's Challenge and Crystal Weapons. We chose to focus on Guild Warfare and Guild Seasons for this update because we wanted to align the Guild Goals and the individual goals better. Mm-hmm, okay. Raw energy is an intermediary resource. Before we uh, continue, uh, did you notice how they changed this um, dev talk? I like it much more. <coughs> much more. And they want to have these pictures also. Produced by territories oh, in the Crystal Raiders update. These drawings. Raw energy this concept is starts. refined in the territories into siphoned energy. And the exciting thing about raw energy is that it can be stolen from your enemy's territories and carried back to your own territories. We want it to feel almost like a bank heist. You go in your own territories. We want it to. Man, Johannes. Great fucking job. No, I, I'm serious. They're, you're doing a great job. I do like if it is uh, these changes of solo dungeons, these all visuals, is thanks to you, man. Great job. To feel almost like a bank heist. You go in, you find mm. a tower, you they look destroy awesome. weak points, and you steal the riches below. Ooh, look at these animations. Bank. You saw it? One more time. Destroy weak points, and you steal the riches below from the bank vault. And get out again. You it's can awesome. steal valuable raw energy by killing a territory's siphoning mages. Siphoning mages are now only attackable during a region's prime time, and that region's prime time has been reduced down to one hour to make for much more focused action times during one hour. You saw? Hour it's new uh, arcane stuff. Do you remember if you were playing Dota? Uh, we have such character, a Crystal Maiden, and it's ulti. Much more. Literally the same ability we will have on arcane. What we hope to achieve with territory raiding is that guilds are heavily incentivized to go into conflict with mm. each other. Raiding offers so many yeah, opportunities Crystal for spontaneous betrayal of alliances or looking at the map, looking for mm. an opportunity and spontaneously taking advantage of that, that opportunity. I do love this Territory visuals. raiding will dramatically shake up the way guilds play the guild seasons. We took another look at the Conqueror's Challenge and we mm -hmm. decided that there needs to be a way for the for your rewards from the Conqueror's Challenge to improve based on your guild success so that you as an individual benefit from the time you've invested into the success of your guild. In the new Conqueror's Challenge, at the end of the season, instead of battle mounts, you will get a reward chest. This reward chest will not only upgrade with your progress in the Conqueror's Okay, so I have a question. Will it replace Conqueror's Challenge, this uh, tier 8 chest that you can get once per week? Or um, it will be on top of this chest? It will be If it will be on top of that chest, I think it will be better. Yeah, or they're gonna replace it. Conqueror's Challenge, More RNG. but also yeah. increase in value with your guild rank. Even as an individual player, you will be able to participate in these activities and earn points for your guilds, and even if you are a non-guild player, there's still stuff that you can get. If you upgrade the chest to a uh, greater... So, I'll explain to you. Uh, you will be able to boost these rewards, we were discussing this earlier, uh, via solo activities and via guild activities. Um, so, game in such way will try to motivate you, to, if you're a solo player, to participate in guild, try guild content, and it will reward you at the end with uh, much higher rewards at the end of the season, or if you're a guild player, it will motivate you as a solo player to go and try some things. Like playing meets, corrupted dungeons, and so on and so on and so on. Midnight, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> the size based the on... The other, because it replaced the mount. Oh yeah, probably. On probably, your conquest yeah. challenge progress, you simply get more rewards. But if you upgrade the quality of the chest, you also get more rewards, but you get access to some of the more unique rewards, including battle mounts, and the artifacts for the all-new crystal weapons. Mm -hmm. When we looked at this. how we would reinvigorate sure. the seasonal rewards, we had to consider how we can create a reward that feels meaningful, 
but that we can also give out in a meaningful quantity without destroying its economy. And the solution we came up with were crystal weapons. Each new update, we will introduce three new crystal weapons. That means every season there, you can look forward to a new exciting weapon to come into the game. So in the first batch of crystal weapons, we will have a new sword, a new spear, and a new arcane stuff. Our design philosophy for yeah. these weapons Simple, was clean. form follows function, mm -hmm. meaning they have clear shapes, they have big crystal blades. The new spear ability lets you shoot out a big, large... Look, you see these visuals? They are the same like a Claymore buck back in the days. Back in the days when he was playing on Claymore, when he was e using Ispel, the same exact same visuals appear on your screen like we have right now on this, on this spear. So basically, they took this visual bug from a Claymore back in the days and used, used it as a new visual for a new weapon ability. Lazy, but smart move. Projection of your staff that is, deals a lot of damage in large scale fights. New sword ability lets you charge up your power, run into the end. Oh, it's uninterruptible, by the way. And strike them twice. The new arcane ability lets you summon stars from the sky that you can rain down on your enemies. Players can look forward to every upcoming update mm -hmm. to contain a fresh batch of three crystal weapons. weapons. We need more the events. advantage of releasing them in multiple batches step. is that we can introduce fresh and exciting new gameplay in every update. Well, they need to introduce new weapons. It's a great time to come back to the game because it will reinvigorate. It's the like new heroes in League and of Legends. For you as an individual time. player, you also get this awesome new content with the crystal weapons that you can achieve. We want to bring fresh wind into the guild versus guild conflict and territory warfare. We mm -hmm. are super excited to release the Crystal Raiders update in the beginning of 2024, but are already hard at work on what comes after. Whether you are a new player or a returning player, there will be a bunch of exciting stuff coming to Albion Online in the next year. Now sharpen your swords and dust off your mage staffs. It's time to get ready for an exciting year of guild conflicts and updates in 2024. Okay, it was good. I will not say like I'm completely excited because it's uh, a content update that will be focused around ZVZ content, guild content, which is important. And when I was uh, in a call with Robin uh, last time when I was streaming Albion, he said that they gathered feedback from insane amount of people who play ZVZ, like guild leaders, uh, ZVZ callers, etc. So yeah. I think it will be good. And again, their feedback was very positive towards this update. What I'm waiting for, and we can expect each updates each three months, is the next content update after this one, that I hope, I sincerely hope, will be focused around solo small-scale random PvP in open world. They need to rework Avalonian roads, they need to rework a bit uh, open world notification of uh, deaths that, uh, yeah, on minimap if you're a solo player killing a target, lots of things. Maybe solo dungeons rework, uh, maybe hardcore expedition rework, who knows. This is nice beginning. And you know what? There will be something new that we will be able to... Again, we, we're gonna wait for new crystal weapons each season, until they will release a whole type of weapons. So. This patch we're gonna get sword, spear, and arcane. Next, we'll see what's gonna be. Yeah, maybe I know and I cannot tell you, but yeah, it is actually a good one. I was trying, I was thinking about I wanted to tell you something, but I'm not sure can I tell you or not. No, probably I cannot tell you. Okay, never mind. It is awesome. Want to remind you, uh, it's gonna be released on 8th of January. If you're watching it on YouTube, by the way, tell me your thoughts, type your thoughts. What do you think about it? Do you like it or not? This direction of the game that we're gonna see updates each three months, I think it's a good change. It is, it is. Because playing with the same meta for half a year or for one year plus, ah, it's annoying. Uh, we will not log on a live server right now. We're gonna log in on a test server. I wanna show you this new Q ability that they added uh, into the game on Swords. Okay, gonna show you. Uh, first of all, in game sounds. Uh, and tell me it's not OP. I will show you and tell me it's not fucking OP. There is a mob, yeah? Whoop! Jump! Jump! One more, wait, 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 wait. Whoop! Jump! And uh, increase speed on claim or e-spell. Much faster. Huh? 
You remember these days when um, it was easy as a one-handed spear to counter swords with these kites. <laughs> now they will not be able to do that. Ah. Uh. Huh? Okay, it's a claymore. Yeah, but imagine the same Q spell on the carving sword. That's it. Oh, by the way, and range on W was increased. Look at this. Can we use this as mobility? As mobility, right now you can, guys. Now, now you will be able to use your W as mobility. Like. Like easy. Ah. Uh, I think it's good, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna show you the other thing. It's not all. But let's go further. You will love it. First of all, we, in, we're gonna go in no northwest. Uh, and we're gonna use trekking, guys. One more time, showing Q spell. Gem. This is the wrench. You see on what uh, distance I am right now, yeah? And you are jumping on your enemy. Okay, now let's go and do some trekking, but not a regular trekking. Trekking of a new mobs. You will see it. My I want to say something, guys. You need to take into account. It is a test server. Black market is not working properly. And um, I don't have premium. Okay, on those swords, this queue looks like this. <laughs> It's good. It's good, guys. It's actually good. Man, I love it. I do love it. If it will be too much, they need to rework it. Okay, new boss. He will have new abilities, I'll show you. I think we need to use this one. Wait, 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 what is this? Ah, it's a poison, I forgot, it's a poison. Let me kill these mobs first. Okay, it's exhausted. New line for rare quarry tracking specialist. The new one. Man, I would do it this whole day. You cannot even imagine what it is, guys. It might change the whole way how you can progress in this game. Maybe on a freshly created character, you can uh, buy tracking tools, tier 4, and just track these tier 4 spike bosses. Imagine, epic, nature staff, freshly created character. You mm, get tracking, first tool, and just farm these uh, epic bosses non-stop. Yeah, I do love these new visuals, man. I was slipped by this mob. 150k uh, fame, 289 of uh, might. Uh, how much favor? And 69 favor for doing this. It is without premium, guys. I have no premium on this character. Loot is 76k. So, again, without premium. I think it's good. Maybe the, uh, the thing is, they can boost these rewards later. Black market is not working. I don't have premium. Take this into account. It is very, very important. So that was the one mob. Let's try to find another one. He should be nearby. Okay, she summoned this uh, mobs. What kind of abilities you also have? Yeah, there is new animation on e spell. Okay, two mobs, I see. Okay, it's annoying. 
to fight this mob, not gonna lie. Maybe she's gonna use more abilities when she will be on. What the fuck? What? He actually used invisibility potion? Got one the last soon, and he gonna bait me. I did not put him in combat. I did not put him in combat. gonna die oh my god go away guys why you come to my direction like that oh my god no you will not catch me my friends He gonna escape, yeah. Uh, probably. His run will be soon ready. Uh. Let's... Yeah, he gonna escape. I will not be able to loot him. I need to wait for one minute and... No way I will do that. He... Uh. This is karma. <laughs> Man, we gonna die. You understand this? We are gonna fucking die if we're gonna fight like that. He got jump? Man, I thought you're gonna play the adrenaline rush. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I should at attack this mob. My bad. But he's gonna survive. Wait, 21? 21? Still? <laughs> You want to fight? Okay. Okay, I see. He afraid. He afraid one v one. Listen, it's okay. He just afraid to one v one. 
A lot of be is his choice. I don't blame. This infernal scythe looks scary. It's actually often. <clears throat> Happens. Ha, I don't want to fight you. You are too scary. You are too scary, my friends. He's on top. Mm. But lots of damage, not gonna lie. It was lots of damage. <clears throat> he was ratted. <laughs> he was ratted by a battle axe. Let me check. It is what it is. Ah, oh, I love mists, guys. But we are making kills. Anyway, we are getting good fights. 300k. They're gonna run away. His boots will be ready soon. I will be able to kill him. Ah! Ratata! We ratata him. It's a, it's a skill, guys. It's a skill, what can I say? It's a skill. Do you know there is a Pokemon named Ratata? No, I did not know about that. For real? Pokemon Ratata. There is a Pokemon Ratata! Man, we need this emote. We need this emote. Like 100%. Ratata attack. Or something like that. No, 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 why my character stopped for a second? I shouldn't do that. He's gonna have boots soon. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, 700k is 700k. Where is my buffs? I need buffs. I don't need loot. I need to fight people. 200k. Okay, do we have slots? Yeah. Uh, let's wait and... <laughs> what is this? Yeah. I play zero to hero. <laughs> what are the odds to see in the mist two types? Zero to hero build. Mm. No, no. Okay, he gonna take it. It's okay, it's okay.
Whoop! He took it. Nerds. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Frost should suffer. Frost should suffer, man. You decide to choose your destiny. You decide to play on Frost, now you need to suffer. There is no excuse. Hmm, 100k. As you can see, we have done... No I cannot... I cannot click because of chat. Wait. For real? No, don't run away. <laughs> I changed my mind. I changed my mind. We... One we one. What are you doing? 600k? Mm hmm, let it be. Too bad, by the way, if you're awaiting uh, that next patch, double blade is gonna be nerfed. And it's gonna be nerfed. For two, just two seconds, uh, nerf on e-spell. And it's gonna change meta a bit. No, it will not. Double blade, it will still be on top tier meta. Not gonna change anything. Like, the only way how you can uh, realistically uh, nerf Blood Letter and Double Blade it in terms of mobility. But lots of players would probably would not like it. You can use the same logic of changes that we had on Tomb Hammer. Let's say if you are, as a Blood Letter, using your E-Spell and dealing damage to a player, it will have lower cooldown, like normal cooldown. But if you are using it into an air, like mobility, it will have higher cooldown, basically like Great Hammer E-Spell is working. The same goes to Double Bladed. If you are using it into nothing and you are not um, dealing damage to a players with this E-Spell, it's gonna have high cooldown. If it will be on a player, okay, on a player, low cooldown, into nothing, or into mobs, high cooldown. Easy. And it will nerf mobility inside of the mists. It will shake up meta. And it will be balanced. Like right now, Albert in a such on a such stage that you need to have uh, different type of behaviors for spells depending on environment you are playing in. It's the only way how to achieve at least some kind of balance in certain content. Let's pretend that we are afraid of him. He got Polymorph. Oh, fuck you. And that I have no cooldowns.
Almost. Almost. Useless green chest. Let's do it. Useless green chest with 200k inside. Like... Oh, guys! Are you ready? We're gonna lose our set. Okay. Before we're gonna fight um, each other, I want you to um, make a tiny disclaimer. Build that Coco is using, like I said before, by default is stronger than mine. Much stronger. So even 8.3 versus 8.3, it will be tough. But since he gonna use 8.4 and I'm 8.3 OC, it will be even strong, uh, harder to kill him. I want to make an experiment, try to with that rod keep. So I will not be able to reset. One mistake from me and GG. Equal, how was your day? Parry strike. Hmm? It was good. How was yours? Thank God you have carry egg on your boots. Mm. Good fight, good fight. Good presentation. Mm -hmm. It was first rotation. First one. I actually played a bit greedy. Yeah, but it is what it is. Good second rotation. So, Koga, how is your day? Yeah. I'm warming up.
That was close. It was uh, close. You, wish, you probably wish you would have a spring slash now, huh? No, no, no. I just pressed my buttons incorrectly. I would kill you on that rotation. I need to. We need to go back. I have no food. No, the same. I have no eels too. We ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go! What is this wrench and queue? What was that, Coco? Heavy strike. Okay, we're all set. It's uh no, it's a random guy. Ah, we okay. I was trying to outplay me on soup. Shame on you. I didn't. I'm probably gonna be dead right now, yeah. Fucking mob. But it's okay. Yeah, I'm down. Ah, <laughs> uh, you killed me on regeneration, only because of that. On the, when I, we I, were, I didn't have cabbage soup on. Yeah, I know, but you killed me on regeneration. Your health uh, regeneration is higher than mine, with more health and mace. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Good job, good job, good job. Uh, one more time, one more rotation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's go, let's go. But Coco is risking much more money than I do. Like, my set uh, cost how much? Like, 25 mil, 20 mil. He got around 150. So, yeah. Yeah, last rotation. This is 500 health for defense. Ability damage 2%. It eats too much. Yeah, like, you won again uh, because of uh, down-screen advantage. I did not saw that you was casting an e-spell. Ah, good job, good job. Yeah, uh, without uh, this bonus stats, I cannot kill you. Like, you always reset, since you have lots of health without that cape. The only way how I could kill you on our third rotation, when your under cape was on cooldown, and you had around 100 health. But again... In normal scenario, you will never fight 1v1 without under cape ready. You will try to wait until it will be ready. So yeah, I think it's impossible to kill you. 
need more stats. Or either it should be 8.3 versus 8.3 OC without this uh, bonus 500 health. How much health you had, by the way, uh, when you killed me? Like around 500, no? 700. I 700. Think. So it's My around 200. It procked in the end. It procked at the end, yeah. Yeah, so you would be. Uh, your other cape would be procked earlier. You will have less damage, and yeah. Then it will be okay. -ish. But yeah, with that, uh, with 8.4, it's tough, man. It's tough. But it was nice fights. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Natural. Mmm. Mmm. Salamander. Thank you. I uh, appreciate that quad. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Uh, I tune. Yeah, Anna. I see. I see. I see you. Hempred Cartel. <laughs> My said that I lost to Coco. Ah, uh, mm, thank you. Listen, we lost only one set. Anas, you uh, increased my moods a bit. Half lost. We lost only one set. Consumables? Okay. Hmm, <laughs> thank you, man. We returned two sets back. We returned them back. Nice. Thank you, man. I cannot wait. Anas, do you understand that you're gonna make people mad? Man, I do appreciate your support. I do, I do. You can tell me. Mm. But, okay, we need to awaken it. Thank you. Thank you. Will we fight, my friends? Let's fight. He got Giga. It will be a fight. Tibanji, thank you. What? Tibanji, why you are you? <laughs> oh. I, I do appreciate, man, your 25 gifted subs. It's not my birthday. It's not yet, but probably I, I need to change my plans. Now it's my birthday, actually. Man, 25 gifted subs. Gifted subs in UK are very, very expensive. This ain't, it's not 25 gifted subs in Ukraine. It's... And even in Ukraine, if I would donate 25 gifted subs, it would be a lot, man. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's my birthday probably today. Tibanji, thank you for your support. And it is actually a nice uh, kill on 8.1 um, crossbow. <laughs> Uh, you know what, man, uh, even if you delete items, they appear in the inventory anyway, after you die. Action. Yes. Like... We'll just show you an example how deleting items <laughs> will not work. It will not. Escape. It's incredible. This cooldowns. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's fight. Let's see how it goes. Like, he got so much kite potential, to be fair.
Man, it's uh, remind me of uh, press taking uh, Claymore. Come on. We need to wait for cooldowns. Man, I don't have enough time. Two minutes. Too much to see, too much mobility, and too much damage. All together, yeah. Man, I want to fight! I'm trying, my friend, to kill a ratata. I am. No! <laughs> he was trying his best. Man, I'll see one minute. I'll see one minute. Uh, but okay. Let's try, let's try. One minute OC, man. You're gonna use four, and I'm dead. Five, four, three, I cannot. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. <laughs> so close, but close do not count. Close do not count. It was nice, it was a good fight. Well, listen, Fire Shield was good. I did not use it, to, I used it too late. Otherwise, it would be better, yeah. Was a, was a good try, not gonna lie. It, he's, yeah, he's too tanky. When he's in form, and if he can combine form with my E spell and block damage, what he was doing, it's actually nice. Again, guys, love you all. Thank you for your support, activity in chat, and we'll see each other tomorrow. And bye-bye. Uh,